If you would like to learn how to set categories in Extend Report, stay tuned. You're watching Automate Now and I'm Marco Cruz. Let's dive in. And here we have this method called on test failure. And what this method does is that it takes a screenshot anytime that a test fails. And here we can see what the method does. This method right here is the one that takes a screenshot. We can look at the implementation of this method and this is what it looks like. It's a simple logic for taking a screenshot. And then we have this part. This part is the one that takes care of creating the extent report. And so far I've shown you how to add a stack trace to extent report in this line right here. I also showed you how to add screenshots to the extent report. Now we're going to learn how to add categories so that we can see test failures by category. To add a category, I'm going to add something new in here. So I'm going to delete this right here and say dot assign category. Then we're going to use this parameter here from iTest result. So here I'm going to say iTest result dot get method dot get groups. And this is going to give us access to the groups that have been assigned to the test. Now let's go have a look at a test. Here I have this test right here that I've written before and I'm going to add a group using testNG. So we're going to click right here and we're going to say groups is equal to and then in braces we're going to say smoke. We're going to pretend that this test is part of a smoke test suite. Now let's create another test that is going to be part of another suite. For simplicity's sake I'm just going to copy this test and paste it down here. I'm going to change the method's name, I'm going to add a number 2 here and then I'm going to change this group right here. I'm going to say integration. And now we're all set. This group right here that we're using, smoke and integration, is going to be retrieved by this call right here. And we're going to attach this information to the extent report in the case that the tests fail. Now we're going to run this test to see how this works. I have prepared this test so that they will fail on purpose. So let me go ahead and run them so we can take a look at the extent report. My test ran and they failed. Now let's have a look at the report. I'm going to scroll down here and we're going to look at this extent report.html. Let me right click it and say open in and then browser default. And have a look at this. We have the name of the test right here that failed. And if I click on each test, we're going to see that the category changes. This is the category of the test. This one says smoke. Well, this one over here says integration. We also have this button right here that you can click on and here you can select the category that you want to take a look at. Let's just say that you want to take a look at all the integration failures. So you can click this and it's going to list all the integration tests that failed. In this case, we only have one. As we can see, it's quite simple to add categories to extend reports. If you would like to learn how to set up extend reports in your framework, check out the video card on the screen. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you guys in the next video.